just opened this now, and I was just like, look at that, that, yeah, I can't wait. But, we did kind of miss one, so I want to give it a quick scan. Uh, this one. Because it's making stuff, it's makeover, we've done most of this scrambler nonsense. So let's just go on, get on with it. You might be able to hear a rumbling noise in the background, that's just a little heater fan thing down at my feet. Um, yeah, so let's, let's, let's just have a quick... <laughs> Right, good morning. Now, if you run a tech exhaust on your motorcycle, whichever one it right, is... Right, so, um, we are got... I, I am, sorry, not we. It's not we, it's me. Um, I think that we should, I should... I should change tack a bit and um, try and see the positives. Right, I'm going to try in these videos and see the positives as much as possible. Um... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just try. Give this a try. As long as it's got that type of silencer, even if it's the twin lower silencers or the tracker, whatever it is, that silencer from Tech is repackable. If over time the baffle wadding deteriorates, which it does, it's just life. All exhausts that run baffle wadding, it can deteriorate. It becomes echoey and hollow and a little bit too loud. Then you can pull them out, strip them all apart, put new baffle. Echoey, hollowy. See so if I don't say out. That was me going to say something, but oh, we'll break. He'll break me. Don't worry about it. But um, I remember MIG wire. I remember when he put loads of MIG wire. If you don't know that, he basically threaded the inside of the baffle with a load of MIG wire and explained that it was chopping up, like spokes, it was chopping up the sound waves. For wadding in and rebuild them to return that lovely thick solid sound that they've got right now now if i do that it means drilling out the rivets pulling out the back cap and inside there's that perforated steel tube it's not really replaceable if you have to drill the rivets out right that that's like saying oh this one it's welded but if i get an angle grinder and cut it open or a can opener <laughs> it's replaceable it's replaceable would have fittings that allow you to undo stuff rivets are not fittings and you get a little piece of metal with a hook on it reach in and just hook it out because there's nothing holding that in other than the baffle sorry what, go back go back I'm, i've lost him i was too busy talking shite the back cap and inside there's that perforated steel yeah. tube and you get a little piece of metal with a hook on it reach in and just hook it out like a, a spring hook because there's nothing holding that in other than the baffle mm. now if you want to run the bike as i do here with no baffle then there's nothing holding that tube in so isn't there's not even the circle that doesn't stop it coming out what stops it being fired out you may see the tack weld inside a couple of little tacks in there to hold that tube in which means in the future grinding them out or you can cut your baffle down don't need all that get rid of all that it it's this ring on the front this piece around the outside if you just cut that piece out and you can run just that lip on the edge enough to hold that in. Isn't, so as it backs out, doesn't the circlip, doesn't it hit against the circlip and stop coming out? That's fine. So you've done it. You've got all of that perforated mesh yeah. held in. Like you're saying that the baffle, the baffle gives the space in. So when you put your circlip in and then, no, fuck it. When you put your circlip in and the baffle, that is making that space up and it's keeping it all wedged together. But with the circlip still in, it still stops it firing out, surely. In place, safely, so it's not going to fall out the back. And at the same time, you can remove the circlip and you can still repack your baffle in the future if you want to. Best of both worlds. Now, me personally, I don't want to tack weld it, but I also, I don't want to butcher my baffle and cut that up. I need it for the future for various reasons, and we all know them, maybe MOT or whatever. So to keep well, that... No. So the MOT thing is a bit of a myth. The MOT, the, the low, loud, noisy exhaust, my SV used to run at, I think it was like 1,800 decibels, and then you'd get a backfire out of it now and then, right? I took that to the MOT twice, three times, and it passed. Not a problem. Two different places, right? Loads of bikes in the past, you take them to fine, right? What they're bothered about is if it's just a bit of tubing 
with nothing in it. No end can, just bob, 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 bob. It actually goes... Sounds like you can hear the valves popping, the air popping. But it's stupidly excessive. Or if it's blowing, that's what they're bothered about, right? Or backfiring every five seconds because you've got an air leak somewhere. But again, that would be a leaky exhaust. That exhaust running there is not going to fail an MOT because there isn't actually a defined limit. It's down to the examiner. And if the guy's in the business of fucking running bikes through MOT, he's usually fine with it. Right? I have never met one. Doesn't mean they don't exist. But I, nonsense. I don't believe that. Um, track days is what the baffle is all about, right? Because you take that to a track, it's never going to go to a track. But if you take that to a track, um, then they do do the decibel testing, right? And not only do they do it at the beginning, so they give you a decibel sticker, but as you go around the track, they have the fly-through bloody microphones, and they can give you a flight, they can call you in, and they can warn you, and then they warn you again, and you get fucked over. Intact and not have to weld it, the only option left to me is to make that retaining ring. I've got a lathe, I've got some raw materials, I can make a little space for tubing ring that goes in there that holds that in place and I don't have to cut that up. But he's saying that, I don't think I'll just fire out, I reckon it's wedged in there. I don't know why you're measuring. That's like I'm not. I'm not being horrible. I'm not being calling him nah 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 knobhead names. I don't know why you're measuring that. You've got the ring on your baffle. Just measure that. And get some battery speed calipers. We've gone from metal to plastic. For some reason, we're going to waste a hell of a lot of material on a baffle that he probably won't put in. Bit of tubing. No. Oh. No tubing. Oh, I didn't surely throw it in the hole. Oh. That's a lot bigger than that baffle ring. He's going to check the depth. Right, let's get to this bit. Is he polishing it with a scalpel blade? Yes, he is! Yes! Oh, oh my god! Did he just do what I said last time? Put a spacer behind it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that's how you do it. I'd use something a bit broader, but whatever. It's a three jar as which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but... Whatever, whatever works. On Ali, meh, it's not running true though, you can see the whole thing tracking out a bit. How about a mill file? Maybe. Who knows? It's massive. Why is this thick? Why is it so thick? Why is it so thick? <laughs> Just gonna keep on saying that. Oh, there we go. Right, a satisfying job. I really enjoyed that. Now, the inside diameter of that billet ring is exactly the same as the inside diameter of the perforated tube. So no restriction whatsoever. And whilst that ring retains all of the physical contents of my silencer, it also releases all of the sound at the same time. So to sign off the job properly, let's fire it up.
Oh. Well, that's that done. We're moving on. Let's get to the let's get to the good bit. <laughs> I can't wait. Come on, come on, internet. There we go. Do your thing. Oh, some people are in such darkness. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought of heart of darkness, just because of the word. They have to burn others just to see a light. Try reaching out, not lashing out. Oh my god, what's 1397? That's not a Bible reference. 1397. Dot, dot, dot. What is 1397? Let's just put it in as it is. 1397. It can't be 1397. Thir Pish. <laughs> no, fish, sorry. Uh, no, no. 1397. Bible. He's probably just done it so... Oh, no, we have got one. We have got one. It's Palms 97. Now in the church, the Antichoke, <laughs> at Antichoke, there were prophets and teachers called all sorts, called Niger. Um... He said, set apart from me, whoever, whoever, and call them whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, this is probably just to have us on some wild goose chase. I can't really see where it says something about burning other people, whatever. Who cares? Or knows? Um, yeah. <laughs> Right, good morning. Welcome back. Oh now, my in god, it's so good. Last one, I spent nearly all of my time just focusing on the first three fundamental things. That's getting the shape of it how I wanted it, to get this curve to make it narrower in the front, and also focusing on the technical side of it to get this centre section right in behind the tyre, which obviously needs to be there, and at the same time, getting that straight and true. But it's not straight and true. The template wasn't even the same. Everyone saw. It was all guesstimated. Front, so it's not twisted either way. It is so twisted. Got... I can promise you now. All those right. You've got happy all of them that. right. It's all over the place. Uh, and now I can just cut it down, chop it down, make it smaller and dinkier, and move it in closer to the frame. But what? before I do that, right. So let's just go. Let's just literally go over what he just said. Right. Behind the tire, which obviously needs to be there. Sorry, and, at the same... and also focusing right, on the. Now, in the last one, I spent nearly all of my time just focusing on the... F right, so let's write down what he's saying. I know it seems pedantic, but... First three fundamental things. That's getting the shape of it how I wanted it, to get this curve to make it narrower in the front, and also focusing on the technical side of it to get this centre section right in behind the tyre, which obviously needs to be there, and at the same time... Behind tyre. I don't know how... I don't know how it could be any other way. Right. I'm getting that straight and true across the front, so it's not twisted either way. So I've got all those right. I'm so he said straight and true, right? A number of, is successful. Success. Oh. Right, he's been successful. He's done all those things. All right. Yes, get in there happy with that and now I can just cut it down chop it down make it smaller and dinkier so now he wants to number six is make it smaller and dinkier <laughs> right. and move it in closer to the frame and move it closer to the frame closer to frame now the curve was a guess there's no measurements there the narrow bit towards the centre, they won't be the same. I can promise you that now. And you can measure that. All right. And the way, you, way, if you wanted to do that, what you'd do is that bit on the curve at the front. So this bit here, the curve, you get a centre line down there. All right. And then what you could do is you could lay on its side and you could measure from certain points 
Or you could put a little, little wash, stack of little washes or something. You, know, you could do it, right? And then you flip it over and you check and you go, oh, no, that was a... Right? If it's like a, th- a four-legged table, you're like, oh, no, this one's miles out. So you could do that. You could you could make sure that the, the, the curve and then how much it narrows in is right and correct. You can even draw that center line and just check distance-wise where everything lies. It's behind the tyre. That's fucking bizarre. I don't know what that means. Of course it's going to be behind the tyre. You're not doing a headlight cover. Cowl. Straight and true. Don't believe you. Successful. Well, you 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 slapped a load of metal on the side of the on the front of a pike. Is <laughs> is yeah, yeah. Smaller and dinkier. I don't understand. Right, they're the same thing. But what I'm saying is, is you're trying to make it smaller. So why do you make it that big to start with? You got to remember that the nose, right, the very nose, that pointy bit I'm pointing out there, that nose bit there, right there. Um. That is a, a, a defining edge. That is where that is going to live. If you want to pull that in more, then all this detailing that you did around all the fasteners and stuff and all the rest of it and make it closer to the frame was all for naught. Not only that is that top bit where it actually does touch come in contact with the frame, again, it's defined. But you're going to have to cut all that away. So what have you done? You've made some of this wrong and now you want to try and make it fit and make it right. It ain't straight. It ain't true. You haven't got the curves similar. Well, similar maybe. If I'm, if I'm being generous. We're trying to be generous. Remember that. Oh. But before I do that, I've got one little technical thing I just want to rectify. And that's on this left hand... Well, technical. It, what do you mean technical? It's all technical. It's not imaginary. It's not... Uh, it's abstract. <laughs> seam down here where I welded it up last time it's just a little tiny bit open about half a millimeter you can see daylight down it I don't just want to fill that in what I want to do is just zip out the tack welds bring that joint closer together and re-weld it so you do that as you're doing it the first time round, right because what you had was pristine metal and now what you've done is you've made it crap It, it it's like a piece of paper, right? You, you crease a piece of paper to make a paper aeroplane, and it's all wonky and cockeyed and not symmetrically off. For, for, flatten that piece of paper out, and you can never get it right again because it always wants to try and follow those creases. And even if you do get a new crease in it, that nice flat sheet you would have has got a crease in it, and it, it's buckled backwards and forwards. And that's just a paper aeroplane. This is metal, and you've melted it. So, uh, yeah, no... It's solid metal all across that joint, and I can grind it round and smooth it out without whoa, a gap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got to remember, this is, what, one mil thick? You don't try and, again, right, you don't try and grind any of this. If you wanted it to have a rolled edge, then you roll the edge before you weld it. So you'd make two sides that look like this, and then your, your front scoop bit would be just flat metal, and you'd weld it, trap it in between them, Yeah. If you wanted to do it the other way, you could make the front cover, you know, like that, with the with the fillets in there. You roll the edges and then just have the two flat sides flat. You don't... No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. As soon as you grind, it's a millimetre. We're going to have to get a drawing out. We're just going to have to get a drawing out. I'm trying to keep this quick because, yeah, but people's time, all that. So you've got... You either do it like that. You, you can't... And the best way to show it is just you can't have this. You cannot have that. This is a millimetre thick. You can't start putting a radius on there, right? For instance, what's the best radius you could get out of it, right? You could get that out of it. But that's a (laughs) millimetre. A millimetre radius. It's nothing. (laughs) You're not going to see that. That's just taking the sharp edge off. That's nothing. You can't start. If you start doing this, even a two mil... A two mil radius. Right, oh no, that's because I'm doing this fucking stupid funky thing. Right, we've got to do that side first. If you did a two mil radius, like that in red, you are getting really thin. Right, and you know, let's just go mental. A three mil radius, you're going to break through. Right, you go do a three mil radius like that, you're nipping through. You're easily nipping through, you're going to fuck it. There'll be nothing here holding it together, you can't do that. You just can't do that. Ugh. Anyway, let's do that first, and then we can get cutting it down. 
like I think some people said some people sent me a message and they weren't trying to spoil it or anything, but they were saying stuff like, um, I think he's been listening to what you've been saying, but no, I'd start again. That's junk. It's rubbish. Start again. Unless the bit that hasn't I've been near any welds whatsoever, you can use that. So you cut all around it and start again. So all that intricate nonsense he's done around here, if he wants to make that smaller and pull it closer to, he said closer to the frame, if he wants to pull that in, these are his words, all that was for now, it's worth time. Just to share this with you a little bit, if you're ever going to do this sort of thing yourself, I'm only a keen amateur with this, I'm not by any means a fabricator, but I do try and set myself a reasonably high standard. <laughs> Fuck off! Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be nice. Amateur with this, I'm yeah. not by any means a fabricator, but I do try and set myself a reasonably high standard. <laughs> uh just watch Make It Customs, just watch all of his videos for the next six months. Just don't do anything else, Del, just watch them. And then you'll have an idea, and then you have a go at, just have a go at trying those little things, right? Fuck me. I want to show you closely in this joint exactly what the problem is, and what I want to rectify first Ooh. of all. Right, so here's the problem. The right hand joint is not gash. Nicely sealed. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Rectify first of all. At least we get to right. see it though. That is gash. What are you doing? So here's the problem. The right hand joint nicely sealed. I don't know why I didn't weld it from the outside. You can weld it from the outside as long as you just take it back. As long as you, well, it's gentle. But no. Left hand joint not so. That's not a millimetre. Come on. Fuck me. We know how big a millimetre is. I can see how thick the material is. And the problem comes from this little piece of the right hand panel down well, here. Well, if you look at it, it's not even a it's not even a radius, it's not a round shape. And you've got well, a little tiny gap, not bother about that. I just didn't shape it perfectly when I came to bring it together. Now I can't undo these welds and then bring that in because I'll lose the symmetry across There's the no front. There's no symmetry across the front. I can see it. But I've Move your hand. You can it's like one's one's like Fucking, eh. one is like, oh, we well, can't use that. One is like this, one is like this, right, and the other one is like this. That's what it looks like. And you might say, oh, it's a camera angle. No, 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 if you go right back, it looks like it's shoddy as fuck. Here, I just didn't shape it perfectly when I came to bring it together. Now, I can't... You see that? That's got what you'd call a constant, well, what's the word I'd use? It's got a constant chord, or it's got a, a, it's a constant radius almost. This is hourglass shaped. Do these welds and then bring that in because I'll lose the symmetry across the front that I've achieved. What I've got to do instead. The camera's gonna fuck you up a bit there, but you can see from when it's on the outside. Panel forward, and before I can do that, down here, I have to just grind away that little bit of excess that I didn't do in no, the first place. No, 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 no. Tell him to stop it. <laughs> no, you don't. You need to get your shapes right. That would be a good idea. I could, you, that side panel, you can make any shape you want. Any shape you want. And then you can make, you can, uh, you make it any shape you want. Just so you want to follow, just it's this shape. And then you get your metal and you bend it round it and you tack it. And then you bend it the other way and you tack it. And then you bend it the other way and you tack it. You bend it, you tack it, you tack it. And you can make it fit. You can shrink it around. You can make it fit. That's all it is. From that point there, down to about there, I've just got to shape that in. If so these bring... two side panels were laid on top of each other and cut, they were literally clamped together. You can even drill them, two holes, put a bolt through them, secure them together, and grind them together so they fucking match. Then you put them together, and, I, and your sheet, your, <laughs> this is the thing, your, your bit in the middle will perfectly just match them. You even draw lines on it, right? You draw lines on it, you draw a grid, or you just draw lines, the thickness of your ruler, all the way down. All the way down on that, you match them up. Okay, now. That back a little tiny bit, and then I can move the whole panel forward, and re-weld that whole seam up the left-hand side, and then it will be symmetrical, and both joints will it's be not. sealed. That should solve the problem. I'll tell you what, at least he's not passing it off as... He is, he is doing something different, but you've got no reference here. You're just blindly cutting. Oh, fucking hell. 
That's it, right. This is how you don't work. Don't put your glove on the hand that's holding the tool. No, sorry, sorry. This is this is the Dell way of doing things. We're going to be nice. We're going to try and be nice. Put your glove on your hand tool, your tool hand, because the blowy, blowy air out of the gun makes your hand a bit chilly. The hand that's exposed to the bare metal with sharp edges, fuck it. <laughs> It's a shame gloves don't come in pairs. <laughs> right, now put that in the bin. One, look how thick, you can see how thin it is. There's a disc, to give you an example. It's not, it's a flat disc, but that is mill thick. Right, ugh. Oh. Look at that waving, do you see the waving around? Oh look, he started at the bottom and now he's making his way up. And he's got little lines on there, look, he's learning. This is why I do these videos, because he's learning. I don't even think I do that, Jesus Christ. I ain't got a dolly on the other side of it. So, when you whack that, it's just going to cripple and do whatever the fuck it wants. You've got no control. A dolly, it's just a bit, a bit of metal. A Fucking block of metal. Different. You get different shapes and stuff, so you can get in places. But you put that behind it. So when you're whacking, there's your steel. Is is your is your support. There's your steel. When you whack it, it's going against that dolly, right? It's going against the backer. So it's like squeezing stuff between vices. So you got a bit of crippled metal, and you put it in a vice, and you squash it straight. You you you. You're trapping the metal and making it go where you want it to go instead of just fucking randomly whacking it. This could go fucking anywhere. Oh, look at that. If you start from the bottom, it's now do the shape. He could have bent it any which way he wants. If you start from the bottom and you... Do you know what? It's like this. If you just randomly grab two bits and just go, right, fuck it, put them two together, and randomly grab these bits and put these two... You're not going to line it up. You go from one edge and you zip it up as you go, right? It's fucking amazing. It, 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 everyone should know this. It's like buttoning up a shirt, but you you start at the bottom, you start at the top, and then you go... Oh, no, I'm a button out. in midair fucking it this is trying to look like you know what you're doing when you don't know what you don't know what people do this for that's the problem he's seen people do this and goes all right that's what you gotta do you gotta hit it why what are you doing what are you trying to do oh, i'm trying to manipulate the metal and bend it into shape are you because all you're doing now is just hitting something and it's just flapping around this is like trying to hold a log in your hand and try and hit it with an axe and chop it in half Splitting wood by holding it midair. <laughs> oh, throw it and bash it with an axe. <laughs> Looks sick. <laughs> you also haven't learned that you're going to burn your hand doing that, right? You, you, in it, you know, how, how close is he to burning his hand? <laughs> Look at that. Fuck me, that's close. And the thing is, you got to remember, your hands are your number one tool that manipulate other tools that your hand are uh, things that your hands can't do. My hands can't weld, right? The welder does that bit. So you've got to look after, just like you look after your tools, you've got to look after your hands. Actually, the number one are your hands, right? Setting them on fire or fucking your gloves just because you put your hands in the wrong place is dumb dumb. Again, we all do it from time to time, kind of thing. You know, you fuck up or whatever, but it's just something to keep in consideration. That these are your, your, your number one tools. Well, not if you're in, but. <laughs> Fucking whacking stuff midair, for fuck's sake. Now you can see there, it went burp, because he's. He's trying to bridge. No! <laughs> it's not. Welding isn't grab that bit, grab that bit and pull it together. You're not fucking Spider-Man, right? You're trying to fuse those two bits of metal together so they become one piece of metal. 
Oh, you can see him. What are you doing? It's not sewing. Oh, I'll give him one thing though. At least he's doing spaces. It's because he's, he's probably watched a video on how to do basic TIG MIG welding 101. Do not touch that thing with a grinder, really, at all. Flap disc on fuck all setting. You know, 16,000 grit, so it's just taking the discoloration off. You don't be taking any metal off. I've seen all these sparks, and I'm like, bye bye, one mil. <laughs> Fucking hell. Look at that. That's sick. That's sick. Is it better than it was? Well, it's like you've pulled out the bits of grit and the one or two hairs off your turd. Like, what the fuck is that? Ventilation. We'll just call that ventilation. That bit there is ventilation. It's still crippled and wobbly all over the place. Oh, ventilation. That's a ventilation all. There's gaps there. Don't grind. Don't do it. Right, in the end, as you saw, the right thing to do was to remove the left side completely and re-weld it on from scratch. Well, the right thing to do is bin it and start again, but we're getting there. Yeah, well, let's be nice, we're getting there. We're, we've gone from, out of 100, we're at 1, and now we've gone to 1.5. <laughs> I'm really happy that I did, because now that seam is completely closed, as I intended it, and also everything is still... This is what annoys me, as I intended it, but your technique has changed, which is good don't get me wrong, but his technique has changed, so it wasn't it, it's alright having all the intentions in the world, I want to make the best thing in the world ever, I'm doing some sculpting at the moment, I say sculpting, you wait till you see it, I'm doing some sculpting I don't know what I'm doing, right, and you can tell it's terrible, but I'm trying, but I'm not saying, you know, I have not a fucking clue what I'm doing not a clue whatsoever, and it shows square and central and true and I'm really happy with that so now I've got to start cutting it down obviously I've got to expose the regulator rectifier that will bring it down to about there roughly and then I've got to bring that line all the way down and the same the other side which is completely different so it's not a process of just one cut and it's done nobody's that lucky well no I've got it's to... what calls templates and planning and using your brain does trim a little bit at a time until I'm happy with the way it looks because you can't uncut a cut so let's make a start. Well, you can. You've just done it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is like guessing where you're mounting it. Number one priority. It's number one thing I'll start with. Where am I going to mount, mount this thing? I can make this snowplow in the shape of fucking Krusty the Clown. How am I going to mount it? Where am I mounting it to? Because you're cutting random shit off here. Where, where, where are you going? Well, at least they're symmetrical. Oh my god. Do you know what that is? I know what that is. That is the twizzly stick, right, used for the blinds. No ruler is using a twizzly stick. Just some at random shit he found. And I can see his dotted line by eye, and then his wobbly stick. Why is the line so wobbly of the wobbly? I know why, because it's crippled to fuck. You can see it all over the place. Some of it's grinder marks, but the grinder, usually, because it's spinning, does a flattish, yeah? And it, it leaves, like that, the low spots. It doesn't touch the low spots. And look, it's like there. He's had to cut that there because of the... Oh, the you've got rid of the ventilation, idiot. No, that's been nice. Nice. And and this bottom bit, as you can see, oh no, because he bent it in for some bizarre, strange reason. Factory, which Ali Davidson is about right. That. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. You haven't even taped the pen to it. You're not using a square, right? If you want to do this, right? 
you know, he hasn't got he hasn't got a surface. He hasn't got a, a an engineering block. He hasn't got a, a a height gauge, right? But if you want to do this, get yourself a big square, big carpenter's square, and then tape it to your ruler in two points, top and bottom. Right, so it stops it rotating. And then do it with your pen like that. You want to barely touch the fucking thing. Doing it like this. You've even got magnets that are square. You could tape it to the edge of the magnet. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares what I fucking say? Oh, we're back to that. We're back to the dotted lines of guesstimation. Well, hang about. Look, you've got this bottom bit here. There's a big gaping hole. That's like that. And it is there as well. What are you doing with that? Like, what I'm saying is, is this is flapping around. So how can you tell? When you draw a line, I draw a line and go, that's level. And then it folds in and it goes out of... Oh, fuck. <laughs> You've got to have some kind of framework to make it stiff. Just, just, from, just from the point of view of, my lines are straight. Oh, now we're going... Not even following his dotted lines now. What did he say about cutting? You can't uncut a cut. You can't unfucked fucked. You can't unfuck fucked. Oh, just, just beautiful. Holding it midair, flapping around. There's a vice there. It's holding your your elbows against in your way. <laughs> yeah. I can just hear it. Look, look, you see what's this flapping around? Fucking symmetrical. How would you know? Um, I could just, it's just like this as he cuts through, I can just hear him in his head. Like, Fucking have it. This is, this is gold. Oh, at least, at least he's put the glove on the right hand this time. And it, if everyone ever, it, you keep on calling, my legs are on fire. You know, don't call him a hack. It's like, well, it's a lot of hacking, isn't it? <laughs> now. I think he nipped this panel there. I think he nipped it. But we'll see. What are you doing? Just my ears. Ah, oh, fuck it. We've got to get that in. So, completely changed shape. Completely changed. We're moving a lot closer. All that detail in waste time. This is why you do it with cardboard. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, yes, yeah, symmetrical. Your lines are fucking beautiful. It's not, you can, you can tell this bit here and this bit here. They are not. They're like this. Now, there is not enough distance in this camera, parallax-wise and all the rest of it, for it to make that much of a deviation. It's just shockingly bad. And it would have been fine if you just cut the centre strip and made two sides. And yet they made them the same, like I said, with that bit cut out as a template. Oh, we're just fucking guessing. You see, this is what... I'll give it. I'll, I'll. This is what you do with sculpting. Just say you're making some horrible monster out of some science fiction film or whatever, and you're like, right, I want to make a monster, and you just start. Eh, no, I want his. They make they make make his brows a bit, make his jawline a bit. Yeah. No, I like it as it was before. You rip it off and. Eh. There we. Yeah, longer teeth. Fuck it. That sculpting when you're making up something that doesn't exist. This is not that. This is metal work. Imagine if Harley Davidson did this with your frame. Every frame you bought, they went... What did it look like last time? <laughs> Stephen. What did it look like last time? And he comes up and he goes... 
I think you're higher than that. How much? About that much. Then he walks off, and then you're like, was it that much or that much? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is not how we've got here today. All right? We haven't got here today because people just guess. All right? They don't make the links in that chain. They don't just go, yeah, about that. <laughs> Looks sick. And the thing is, right, you watch what's his face, Japan's off make made it custom, right? Just just jigs, dollies, fucking templates, you name it. Try and get it spot on. Try and get it spot on. I want that three times. Keep on doing the same thing. Measure, 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 mark, 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 measure, measure. Compare them all if you've got them all before you weld them all. Tack, compare, tack, compare, tack. Keep on going, keep on going. Then blah, 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 and then done. Fucking wonderful. Well proud. It's exactly what I want. It's where I want it to be. And I look like a smart ass in in front of everybody. Fucking fantastic and great. But this, it's just, just guessing. Hey, who holds the grinder like this? I can't remember the last time I went back like this, held it in my hand. Held the grinder further away and went and let the grinder to me. I just went, fuck it, have it. Who does this? What is that? He's floating. Who does that? I had the nice. I haven't called him a fucking moron yet. You've got a disc there. A knackered disc. Right, it's not knackered, it's got a bit of meat on. There's another one there. You've got these magnets. All different sizes of circles. Get your bloody fucking um, scribe. Scribe round it a couple of times. You grab it with your fucking mitts. Grab it, one in one mil thick steel. You grab it, you hold it there. That's where I want it. It's touching there and there. Scratch the fucker in. And when you come to do that, you just follow that line and get really close. Really, 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 really fucking close. But I'll go over it. Oh, what is that? Who wants that? What is this fucking early learning centre fucking Harley Davidson's? It's like the round blade. You know the knives, the left handies and the like, knives. Uh, knives. Scissors used to get as a kid with the round blades on them. Fucking have that, Brian. Oh, I won't go in, bastard. I'm just not. I'm, just, I'm fucking six. I just don't have enough thrust to get in through his <laughs> through his chest cavity. <laughs> fucking bastard scissors. Chuck that shit away. What the fuck? You see now it now what does it look like? Beautiful. You'd not show that to anybody. That's the most accurate thing he's done, and it's not very accurate. If the fucking deburring tools, isn't it? Oh, that's because it hasn't. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's because you haven't merged the metal together at all. If we go back and have a look, we see some awesome welding action here. That's solid, that. It was, fuck me. Just, just, it's a mill thick. Just whack as much heat into it as you can. Whatever you can't put in with the welder, the grind will certainly put that heat in. <laughs> fuck it! <laughs> Wow.
Why is there a chamfer that just starts there and ends there? What's this great big fuck off gap? I can see that that one millimetre is now 0.2 of a millimetre. Oh my god, do not show that to people. Fucking Nora. Well, no, it's good. It's good for us because we get to have a laugh, but. Right, okay, I think you'd agree that looks a whole lot better so far. The front area here for me is absolutely perfect. I l Have you seen your tank? That's near perfect. Love that, and I'm going to leave that exactly as it is. Not going to change a thing with that front area. He said area. it now. He said it. The sides, however, they still look a bit meaty. I think you'll agree. I think we need to do a little something with that. They actually cover up the big ugly engine mount that's right there and the same on the other side. But also going down the right hand side of the bike, it covers up the oil pump, the hoses and all that ugly wiring. And that's a good thing because not only does it disguise it, it also protects it at the same right. time. So it doesn't disguise it, you see. Camouflage, like DPM, right? That disguises you. You are not a tree or a bush. Now you are blended in so people might not see you and think you're just part of the trees and bushes. That is a disguise. Standing in the way, right, <laughs> of something, so you can't see it because you are in the way, is not disguising it. Like, if you had a fucking dog, right, I'm going to disguise this dog as me, because I'm stood in front of the fucking dog. That's not how that works. Putting a fucking costume on it so it looks like a cat, that would be a disguise. <laughs> So I think we need to leave the sheet metal on the sides, but to lighten the look of it, I think a good solution would be to slot some vent holes in it just to lighten the look. <laughs> so basically, it's in the way so you can't see it. That's a good thing. It's now a disguise, which it isn't a disguise because I don't know what the word disguise means. However, we're now going to cut holes in it, like in the thumbnail, so we can see it all regardless. Let's do, Let's that. do that. I'm all for that. Look! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know when someone just talks complete tosh and you just think to yourself, yeah, yeah, that's this. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. Get yourself something, like a bottle cap or something, or a bit of wood. Get a bit of wood and put two holes in it. Put two dowels through that bit of wood, and then in your third hole, put a pen in it, right? And then you roll it down those two the dowels that are sticking out. You roll it down and your pen, you roll it down, your dowels, you roll them down this side and then your pen will mark out the distance. Do it along this side, it'll mark out the same distance. And then whatever that distance is, I always, I've got it here. If you're doing stuff like that, just by eye, you use something like this, like a ruler. I don't mean to measure, what I'm saying is, I'll, I'll wait until he moves his hand. Right, just say so you measure this ruler, right, and it's going to be what? It's like 20, probably about 24, 22, 22 millimetres wide. And just say, down this edge here, I wanted to make that 22. Just say I picked it. I picked 22. I'd make them 22 by lying the ruler down and just drawing that side, drawing that side. So that's that. That's 22 width. Same there, right? And then I make this 22 width from my stupid dowels and my pen idea, right? Two dowels sticking out, or whatever, rods of bolts, whatever. Anything that's going to track the surface nicely, right? And then your pen sticking out. And I'd make that distance between the edges of the dowels... So the, you've got a circular dowel there where it's just tangential to it and then your pen sits in the where the crosshairs of that are, if you get what I mean. And then you just mark there, mark there. And you do this off the bench. You don't need to have it on the bike. No. No. On this side, we're just going to guess again. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah. You see, this one's going to be curved. The other one, if we get it right, the other one was straight. Was it not? Yeah, that's pretty straight, really, compared to this one. On the other side, curved. Creme brulee. Look at that. I'm just guessing. Right, so all these all these radii get all saw drill them. Oh my god, look at him with his fingers, because fingers, we all know how accurate fingers are. There's a joke in there somewhere. Now you see, if you thought about this before, and you did your template, right, 
you'd have drilled this flat. It does, it, it's just guess where the centres are as well. Another way, right, if you want to know where a centre is, just say you're doing a radii, and I was doing this, right, I'd go, right, I want these radii in these corners. The triangles are all about the same size, so I'll use the same radius. When you go for a really tight radius, you want a smaller one, because otherwise it creeps all the way up. Um, how do I describe that? So, if you get rid of all this shite, if you have a an obtuse angle, uh, sorry, an acute angle, sorry, so you have a really tight angle like this, just say our radius is that big, and then let's, this is an acute angle, just say we have a bit more, we'll have an obtuse angle, sod it, an obtuse angle there, right, so if we put this radius, uh, let me just select that, if we get that same radius, and we put it in there. You see how far we're coming away from the edge. So if I just undo this a second. If I make... This is our circle that we want to put in there. And this is our circle we want to put in there. These will be two really good examples. Actually, let's move this. I'll give you even a better example. Right. We move that down there a bit. And then we make a, a e equilateral triangle. The best I can by eye. Right, which would probably be something like that. Someone can tell me how wrong I am. <laughs> so if we get this same radii, the same radius, and put this in there, right, and we get rid of that, we're, we're losing. You see how much that, that triangle we're losing there? We're losing an awful lot of triangle. Same here, right? When you go to your acute angles, <laughs> we're losing so much. So what you've got to be careful of is what radii you choose. So if we do that, you see this one in the corner, that's fine. If we go to this one, we're not doing too bad. Yeah, if we've got this, you know, not too bad size. Not too bad size, what a stupid way of saying it. So if we cut that off, we've got this shape in here, which I'll colour in in green, just say. So we'll have this shape left. That'll be our hole. Like that. This one, on the other hand, will be this weird little shape. Oops. For God's sake. That'll be a weird little shape. That one will be whatever that one is. So that one there. So basically, when you've got a really tight corner, you've got to reduce your radii. You've got to reduce your, your radius of your, of your curve. Now with his, they're more like this, where they're all more similar. You know, we're just taking out, if you look, we're just taking out the same corner there. If you look at all the red bits, they're about the same. These are huge, this one's not much. The closer to 90 you get, the closer to 90 you get, the smaller they are, basically. <coughs> so why, this is why an equilateral, equilateral triangle, equilateral, so they're equal, uh, they're about the same, where these ones, if it's near 90, you're going to get a little small edge taken out, and if you're really tight, you're going to take most of it out. So this nice, long, thin shape you think you've got, you're going to end up with this. So you have to change, right? You have to change the, um, the sizes, right? So for instance, if we just did that again, so we did basically something very similar to that. Oh, get the touch it, otherwise it's not going to work. There we go. Touch it, otherwise it's not going to work. I'm sure that's what Michael Jackson said. So if we do that again with that one, but on these other ones, we want a radius about half the size, so about that like that. If you do this now and put that in there, we are going to get something. Oops. We are going to get something that looks a lot better. Copy that one, paste it, like so. So you got to change it. And you got to look, it's by sight really. You can, well, you can do it by sight if you do enough of this. So now you see we've got something that looks more like what we'd want. We wanted this triangle, but we've made a rounded version of that triangle. 
and you just you've just got to work out your radii. You can actually do a mathematical jobby to work it all out. But that's how much you're losing compared to this one, which was an absolute travesty where you're taking this entire corner out. So if you've got something where his look about the same, right? The angles are about the same. And the way you work it out is just get the corner of a bit of paper. And if it's just a bit bigger or a bit smaller than that corner, then you're all in the same ballpark. Then what you do, <coughs> get yourself, just say, whatever size you want. But just say it's about this big, right? Which would be, I don't know, 30, 35. 35 mil, just say. You get a bottle top for your milk can. That's 35 mil about. You put, there's a thing, a little pip in the corner, in the, cor the middle. You poke a hole through that. And then you put it on your circles and you draw to make your radii and then you get a pen and pop it through that hole in the middle and then you always know when you go around and copy them it's basic stuff cut out a circle of cardboard and with a hole in the center anything just so you've got a, a circle so you can do the radius and you've got a hole in the corner it's basic it's like basic backyard draftsman stuff This has got a step drill for... Uh, look, he's nowhere near. You see what I mean? What was the point in drawing it out? Because you are nowhere near where you want it to be. Because just say, if you line these... you This is the same distance from that edge as this is from that edge. Well, these aren't too bad, but that's fucking miles away. You know, this isn't too bad, but that's... Uh, whatever. Is he putting the vice? Oh. About. You add that little wheel on your. <sighs> it could be one and a half. I'm actually looking at it, but I reckon it's one. I think that could be one point two as well. It'll probably be one point five, one point six, one point eight. Oh, I don't know, but yeah. Now, the other thing is, as well, is it's now becoming even more twisty because you're taking material out. It was already fucking like a bloody fucking Johnny anyway. Now it's going to... <laughs> oh, he's got a carbide burst, did he, Del? I bet he's mullering it, though. Oh, God! Fuck it, who cares? That compressor's going full chat, he can't keep up with that tool. Look at that, you've been at that with the burr. Number two is if you're going to have to burr like that, don't poke your burr along the edge like this. Right? Angle it like that so there's more surface area across the burr because it's only one mil, it will give you a straight, a flatter edge. If you do this, it's trying to do loads of. It's like trying to chew out loads of fucking semicircles, so it just makes this semicircle mess. Angle it as much as you can and try and get a straighter edge with it. Oh, you see, it's just chewing. Oh, fuck me. He's going to his lines, so the holes. So basically, the hole saws were pointless. Because when you, you when you use that step drill, not a hole saw, when you use that step drill, you have a, quite a clean, and it is a radius, because it's a spinning tool, it's made this perfect radius. You want to cut inside of that and then just come up to it, but no, fuck that. <laughs> of course, it's silly! <laughs> Hang about. <coughs> I've got some over there somewhere, who cares? No one cares, Matt. Of course there's a link in the description. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Just give me a second. Who? 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 Oh, they're there. <laughs> That's really strange. I got some the other day. A new, oh, a new set. I just got. I just saw some. No, these aren't. Sorry, these are the older ones. I got these the other day. Oh, no, I found these the other day. No, look, look. There's what is it? These are brazed ones. That's just a flathead one. You can't use that fucking. And again, you angle that like this, bigger surface area, and you don't. You, like I say, you don't use a bullet one. You use a flat one. 
Then there's that one. See, basically what he's got. It's really weird that he's done that, but there's a, a, a ball one. That's for getting right within your nose like that. That's great for that shit. <sighs> Oh god! Is it ever gonna stop? Elf leather! With a shit file! Fucking yes! Look at it just flapping around! It's got no rigidity! It's nothing stopping it twisting now! Nothing! Nothing! Oh, he's got ear defenders on! Behave yourself! You can see, when he's bending like this, you can literally just bend it and go, oh, oh, that yielded a bit. And that's it, it's out of shape. No, look fucking rubbing it down the cloth, you bell end. Oh, sorry, I said bell end, I take that back. Oh, yes, that's cr crinkle cut chips. Let's slow this down. Let's slow this down for the audience. Oh, look, we've been doing this for an hour. You've got to be kidding me. I really didn't think it was that long. Christine! Right, let's have a look. Let's slow this shit right down. Right. Well, I can see crink it's crinkle cut chips everywhere. Now, is that symmetrical? It's not as bad. This is a lot steeper than that is. That's so the right hand side is more like this, and this one is more straight edged. If you can see that, so it's like that one's a bit more curved. This one's more straight edged than Ben. It's no, it's crippled. It's not as bad as I thought. It's probably fifty percent of what I thought. <laughs> These edges look fantastic. You aren't blown through there whatsoever. There's no symmetry to it. It's just random. Non this is curved. Can we go back a minute? Oh, we can look. Look at this go. So what have we got going on here? So that distance from the bottom there isn't that distance from the bottom there. You can see that's where his finger starts. So you can just see there's a line there. Forget the light because it's all crippled. It, there's a line across. I'm following this line at the bottom. There's a line there and you're miles away. Is it going even far further farther back? Yeah, we've... Is that web this one's bent like fuck. Is this one straight? Yeah, so he's doing he's doing it to his lines. That's pretty much straight. So that's like a, a straight like I said, if you got a ruler and went like that and just drew either side of the line. So that one's pretty much straight, the other one's curved for some bizarre strange reason. I haven't looked at the back at all. This is a roller coaster ride of nonsense. <laughs> Let's get back to normal speed for I fucking go insane. Yeah, look, it's, it's, he's nicked it here, there, and everywhere. Just factory. I can't wait until he says something about it. It's going to be fucking wonderful. None of the lines are straight. This is what annoys me. So you've got this curve in here, this curve in here, and the line that goes intersects, it's tangential to that circle, to that one. It just isn't straight. So you were saying that it's covering up all this wiring and all these oil lines. It isn't now. Obviously, you burk. You've just fucking put a window in it. Look, see how he got rid of that horrible engine mount. It's there. <laughs> oh. It's just going to catch shit now. At least he hasn't put a bottom on it. We'll wait for that. The other thing is as well is you've got a bit here where it's nearly touching this bolt here, but on the other side it's got like a, a gap, which I like the idea of. Still don't know how we're going to mount it. Right, here we are. A seriously long day, but these things take time. I came in this morning when it was dark, and if you look at the window behind me, it's pitch dark now. I can't now. see the window behind you, but I believe you. And that's how long it takes, and it's worth it when you get to this stage and it looks it's like that. It's worth it when you butcher it. Really happy. Now, these big vents in the side, they need filling in with chicken something. Chicken wire. Brass chicken wire. Not brass. Oh, fuck off. 
look a bit cheesy. It's what? got to be something. You love it. What are you talking about? I think it's. Che Is he turning into me? More subtle than that, and I will come up with something. There's lots of options. I'll have a look around. Also, it's not got brass chicken wire, but chicken wire connected to the frame somehow now there's a bracket that goes across the frame about there and it's got a hole in the middle that's perfect but i don't want a bolt right in the middle of my belly pan so i'll have to come up with a way of hiding it or disguising it or maybe we'll french it down inside a little tube or something that'll look nice and also it's got to be connected so shit won't collect down that that tube that little tunnel of dirt and despair at the back corners here to the frame so a little bit of thinking to do there and some brackets to make but the belly pan's made and i'm really really happy okay. so here we are Thank you for watching. Take it easy, ride safe. I'll see you That's fucking time. beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Look at that. Creme brulee. Ooh, 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 ooh. You can see. See you next time. There. So you can see. Curve. Straight. Look at that. It's a nice little straight, but curved, but not but then crippled. Mm, love it. And that, that this mirrors that. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Just be like this. This is, is, you know, it's equidistant, and then it's not. It's it's all perfect until it's not. Creme brulee, loving it, loving it. Is this a Harley Davidson or is this a rat rod again? I cannot remember. Oh, that end's crippled as well. Look, that's crippled out. Nice. Also, then welds do not look that the two pieces of metal. There we are. You can see it beautiful there. Then they're not together. He come out with all that bullshit about bringing them together. He hasn't. He's welded this. Remember, he's fully welded this. This is it. This is this is your lot. Creme brulee. Just desserts. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that for a money shot. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Oh no no no. Oh. We nearly died then. Nearly died. Nearly. I'm going to check the comments out. Just very quickly. You know there's going to be some ball looking, which is fine. I want to see what everyone says. There's only 47. How do you feel about dimpling? Oh, God. Rolling the edges inwards. Dimpling? Oh, the vent holes. Right, I see. Re re it's relief in the fucking vent holes. It would take repeated annealing. That's not what annealing is. And patience... And patient work as the openings aren't round and dimple dies would be use useless, yeah, because they're the wrong shape. But you can make one that would do that, but you wouldn't you wouldn't in this case. But it would yield very nice results. <sighs> brass rivet fucking brass rivet. So sick, Del Boy. Oh. Looks brilliant. Love the content of the series. I think the work is fantastic. Can't wait to get your my own sports in the near future. Looking good. Can't wait to see this. Nice one. Intrigued to see how you fill the vents. A long but very productive day. Merry Christmas. Love this build. The way you cut the timing cover down and polished it really badly. Yeah. Yes, love what you are doing with this bike. Watching your creativity and vision. Thanks for the time you invested in creating. Great solution great solution to put the cutouts in the side of the belly pan. Can't wait to see the final version. Great skills with the Migdal. I think way back to my early days in the trucking business. Uh, that twilight time of yearly end. Crimbo bells, load of nonsense. Uh, no one has actually said, I can't believe you got it wrong the first time. What do you mean? <laughs> um... Love that, love that, love that. Takes patience to get the fine results. Good for you, you can follow it. We can follow your steps and decisions. Use P clips from the inside and flush mount bolts. That is, come on. P clips for a fucking, no, don't be daft. Uh, which can be welded from the outside and grind them off. I'm pleased you said you would add a grill of some sort. I felt the holes were a bit large. You are not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Oh, well, let's see what he says there. Wonderful quotes, bollocks. What's it actually do? <laughs> uh, just laughs at him. Just wondered. I just passed my test. Um, I'm on fire again. 
And my bike, my bike doesn't have one. Does this help with anything? Yeah, it keeps us all entertained. Nothing like a Dremel. It wasn't a Dremel. Uh, we received your... It's now you spell received. We received your email and we'll drop you a line this week. Cool perspective to see you welding from the back. Every time I think I'm bad at something... Every time I think I'm bad at something, I can always think of something I'm even worse at. Oh, I thought I was going to say something else then. Every time I think about something... I think I'm bad at something, I watch one of your videos. <laughs> Uh Jesus Christ. Not one negative comment. Oh, well, yeah, it was superb work. It's got, according to this, 207 dislikes, 208 dislikes, sorry, versus 341, Um which, you know, is getting close to, what, 40, 60? Uh, but not one negative comment. That's amazing. I don't know how he does it. Um Yeah. Well... You see, I don't think he would have redone that video if I didn't... Because a lot of people, you know, some people have been sending me messages saying, you know, oh, Dell's listening to you or whatever. Um, which is all fine, fair enough. And like I said, I was trying my best not to be an arsehole about it. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is I don't think he would have said that or done that if I wasn't doing these videos. So we're helping. We're slowly helping. Hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit.